getting SCV production earlier and getting, you know, one of the ways we could do that is to swap, <coughs> to transfer SCVs and then re rally. So let's take these guys, we'll pull them down right. here and we'll set a rally to both so that we can get 16 here. All right, so what do I know about macro? I know that when I have excess resources that I should be spending them on um, on capital, you know, infrastructure improvements, right? So what does that look like? I've got, I've got two Hellions queued up, I've got a siege tank queued up, I've got SCVs queued up, and now I've got leftover minerals, what to do with them. All right, well, I can increase my production capability, right? I can spend those minerals on another factory. Um, I can spend those minerals on another barracks. That doesn't really fit into our play right now, so I don't mm, know how I really feel about that. Uh, we could spend those minerals on increasing our economy. We could take another expansion super early, even though our second isn't yet saturated. Okay, We could make a gamble that we're going to use a stronger economy later. But in general, if, if your knowledge of the matchup is, is weak, uh, I would say that the most safe approach would be to say, once I've got my gas is saturated and 16 workers on the mineral line, I should be, I should have a, I should already have uh, an expansion going up, right? So, so, you know, somewhere around 13, 14 workers would probably be a, a decent timing on that. Um, and this way you can develop uh, your skills in just playing out the rest of the game, having a solid base of production behind you. Um, if you go through all of that and you still have minerals left over, you add on more production capability. And I personally favor more production capability over gambling on, on an economic advantage. Uh, I'll still expand when, when I'm getting around that saturation point, but I, I'm not the sort of player that tends to expand beyond a second early. Right? Like a, and that has more to do with my style, right? my preferences on how to play. I like to be aggressive with units. So I favor production over more economy until that ratio starts to collide with each other. Um, yeah, so when all your, all your production has units in it, queuing no more than two, and all your command centers or, you know, what hatcheries or <laughs> next side have their workers being created, then you add on more production capability because you have more economy than what you can produce all right so i think for the rest of the night it's about dinner time for me i think i'm going to have some some dinner and uh shut down the stream while i do that but i'm kind of feeling the itch to get some ladder games in tonight at some point i've been floating in the the top few ranks of silver and I feel like I've been really close to to getting my matchmaking rate you know my win ratio where it needs to be to move to gold um, and so I'd like to continue to try to push that way I don't know right now whether or not uh, I'll have that opportunity tonight but I'm leaning toward it so if you want to keep watching me or if you want to know uh, you know if uh, I'll be streaming later Follow me here on Twitch, and it'll let you know through an email if you have that set up. Or you can follow me on Twitter, at IncognitioTV. And uh, when I start streaming, uh, an automatic tweet goes out, so you always know when that's going on. And yes, Red Warrior needs food. I, lo I love it, Ryan Hart, Hart Band. Thank you everybody for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate and enjoyed your company. We had some great discussions about learning and some discussions about strategy. And I hope to hang out with you again soon. And if I'm lucky, I'll be back on tonight streaming my push for gold. You all have a wonderful evening and thank you so very much.